The situation with Tiffany Henyard is still getting messier. Ever since she's been accused of being a part of a sexual assault situation that happened in Las Vegas, and as former employees try to sue her for wrong for termination, things are just rattling out of control. And oh, by the way, she lost two of the three referendums that she was pushing as Thornton Township mayor. And then comes into play this particular brother, Jedediah Brown, who is a Chicago, Illinois resident who operates as a self-proclaimed investigator. And basically he's going sort of viral on the black internet for breaking some information about Andrew Holmes. Now, if you guys don't know, Andrew Holmes is one of the six Dalton trustees. Now, out of the six Dalton trustees, four of them are currently against the mayor. These four trustees are Kiana Belcher. Then there is Jason House, who is most likely to be the next mayor. There is Brittany Norwood and Tammy Brown. Also into play is Edward Steve, who was a former trustee, but I'm pretty sure on the next election, he will become a trustee again. Now, the two trustees that are on the side of the mayor is first time nomination, Mr. Stan Brown, and then community and civil rights activist, Andrew Holmes. Now, here's the situation about Andrew Holmes. Allegedly, he's supposed to be from Dalton. And at one time, he even ran for mayor of Dalton, actually around the same time that Tiffany Henyard ran for mayor. Dalton is a great place, but it's bad when you really don't know the inside. Among them is Andrew Holmes, known by many as a community activist and victim's advocate. Holmes is now running for mayor of Dalton. And you say, welcome to Dalton? What are you really welcoming them into Dalton for? Let's take a look inside of Dalton and see what's really going on. But as we know, he was unsuccessful in his bid for that. But as it appears, Andrew Holmes may not even live in Dalton. He may live in Chicago. And to be fair to him, he's known as a community activist that pretty much helps people out when somebody is shot. He helps the homeless. Like clips like this is a kind of activism that he does. Activist Andrew Holmes is known for his work as a victim's advocate, but today he found himself as a crime fighter, helping police make an arrest in a hit and run crash. It happened this afternoon on I-290 near Austin Boulevard. One car hit another while on the expressway and drove off. He then got off the expressway and hit two more vehicles. That's when Holmes spotted him. And if you go and look at some of the photos on the internet, he's always comforting the family when they lose a loved one. And to be fair, he has a lot of supporters. But I'll get to that in a moment. Mr. Jedediah Brown made some very strong accusations against both Tiffany Henyard and Andrew Holmes. But I'll get to the part in which I want to play about what he said about Andrew Holmes and what he's doing with women. Y'all, people are legitimately afraid of the police in the city. And ain't it only about six of them up? Y'all can take them. But okay, don't be afraid of the police. The police ought to be accountable to you. They got to be accountable to you. But in all seriousness and all jokes aside, I want you all to listen to me because I am going to use my words very specifically. I am not saying alleged. I am telling you all that I was directly told. Now, we limited the conversation because I do not want to become the witness in a um, in a in a in this particular type of case. But what we were told is that it appears that Andrew Holmes does has a liking for women. Now, we do understand that he has a Nick San, Nick Cannon uh, um, size amount of kids. Him and Nick Cannon is running neck and neck and making sure that the black population is consistently on the rise. Whatever. But what we have also ascertained in our findings is that it also appears that Mr. Andrew Holmes has a liking for underage girls. And there may be a bit of grooming that have taken place. Now, what has happened or what we have been uh, able to understand from testimony, testimony of individuals that we will not mention. I've talked to some parents. I've talked to the friends of parents and what it has or has been said and what has been alluded to and what we are now looking further into is that there are four, but out of four, two, uh, that 
that that we have uh, literally got specific information telling. Somebody said, don't come at the police department. Why are these people on here uh, defending something? And I'm literally a man that has been tasked and that have come here to get research and information. I'm not coming at nobody who don't deserve to become, have have been come, came after Jasmine. Lord have mercy. So what they're saying is, anyway, these underage uh, accounts are saying that basically he may have been involved in a little bit of grooming. And one of the things that it appears that Andrew Holmes has uh, potentially done is he have taken these underage girls, which means y'all might have seen, listen to what I'm going to say out of my goddamn mouth. There may, there, it is alleged that, that, uh, that some of these individuals, these underage girls, that he've had these relationships with, although consensual, he have taken them with him to crime scenes. What? So Andrew Holmes uh, potentially have brought underage female companions with him to crime scenes. Uh, we do have names. We do have images. I'm not lying to you guys. And that stuff not only is being turned over, we are looking further into it, but I've talked to some parents and I've talked to the, to the, to the, uh, uh, to parents of some friends of four individuals. And that is sick as the, as the absolute hell. And I am not saying alleged because of a certain reason. So I would love for Andrew Holmes to sue me. So basically, he's accusing Andrew Holmes of grooming young women, even allowing those women to show up with him to the scenes of crimes. Right. Because basically, Andrew Holmes is known as a clout chaser. I interviewed a lady by the name of Kira Wilson. Her daughter was killed by Dalton police. And when I asked her about Andrew Holmes, she had this to say. I don't really hear too much about him, just but the other person I hear a lot about, Andrew Holmes. Yeah, I, I have no idea. another crony of Tony, of oh, Tiffany. Yeah, I have no idea. Mugshot, I really don't know anything mayor. about that man. The mugshot mayor, Tiffany Henry. Yeah, yeah. Mugshot, the mugshot mayor. Yep. Okay. Yep. Now, this interview was done a few days ago, and I just came across this about a day ago, all right? And this is interesting because Mr. Jedediah Brown said the same thing about Andrew Holmes. Basically, Andrew Holmes is a guy who's a clout chaser that doesn't do anything. That is what Miss Kara Wilson says. And it's the same thing that Jedediah Brown says. But hold on, let me kind of look at the comments that were on Facebook. Now we're blurring these people's names. Okay, now in support of Andrew Holmes, someone said, I see him all the time at CTA. I can't believe a story like this. He's not that kind of person. Y'all can't believe everything y'all hear. Y'all need to go to the source. Then um, somebody else will blur her name and the name. I agree, my friend. This is a lady. We heard each other instead of talking to each other. We always want to put gossip on Facebook. That is not cool. Okay, so I'm being fair to him. These are some of his supporters. Uh, now the man, Jedediah, I'll blur her name, but... I've talked to him several times, even when he lied directly to my face. I've sat on it. I'm going to say support your conscience, but double check the info. So basically the same guy, Jedediah Brown, says he's been in contact before with Andrew Holmes. And that Andrew Holmes is definitely a liar, although he never said it personally. Now, uh, this person, uh, next person is so sad. People trust him. He pays for a lot of funerals for people who cannot afford funerals for their loved ones who were killed in Chicago. Now, this is again in support of Mr. Andrew Holmes's character. Now, this other person says that's why he had every crime scene, because he has to say that he's doing some advocacy, but he shouldn't be claiming the same event for different organizations. And if you Google his name, you will always see him around some families that are distressed and crying after somebody has been killed. Now, um, this other lady says, I believe you heard it before a few years ago. So she's saying that she's heard the allegations also. Now, also, uh, this other lady goes, nah, man, not the good guy, Holmes, man, no way. And, you know, this other person says, hey, I'm saying the same thing. We'll blur both of those names out. And, um, this other lady goes, Tiffany is his goddaughter. Now, this is interesting because the next claim 
that Mr. Brown is going to make will shock you. One time a month, which is not what they're supposed to do, but we do know that if she doesn't have the one on Monday, she got to have the one uh, after that because that's when they go going on the payroll. And guess what, damn it, now, because they want it, you cannot do this in government. Basically, he is saying that Tiffany Henyard works as a madam to bring Andrew Holmes women. Now, I don't know how true that is, but again, Andrew Holmes definitely, as it appears, was the trustee that was at, on the Vegas trip and was the person that had this allegation. And she fired the person on the behalf of Andrew Holmes, allegedly to protect his name and image, and then also demoted the police officer who had knowledge of this. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Already, Patricia, before you do, subscribe to the bell. We're out.